Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, thank you so much for all your comments, emails. The the chat is absolutely fascinating all the time. And uh, we do try and respond to it. I think this puzzle might be up the street of those who like the puzzles a little bit easier than, than some of the ones we've put on the channel. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, don't forget that on Patreon, there's still a few days left to enter the Peter C. Hayward a Sudoku Hunt This Is competition. Um, it's brilliant. I mean, if you've had a go at that, you'll know it. If you haven't, give it a try if you're a Patreon. It's worth it. Uh, also on the links under the video, all our merchandise and apps, Sven Sudoku Pad, you can find a, a link to the Discord server, and that's where this puzzle was posted at one point. It's been sent on to us. Um, and it's called Symmetrio by Epsilon. Now, I was going to say Symmetrio must be symmetry in a language I don't know, like Spanish or Italian or Portuguese. But actually, it could be a portmanteau word uh, for symmetry and trio, if there's a sort of three aspect to this puzzle. I don't know. Epsilon, not a name I, uh, we have met, I don't think, on the channel before. So a debut, which is great. Let's have a look at the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in circles must appear in the surrounding cells. So those cells must contain two, five, and nine at least once each. Um, there could be, yeah, there could be two of any of them. There could be two sixes around there, two threes around there. That's fine. Digits along diagonals must not repeat. Oh, got it. So up that diagonal, for instance, that's a set of the digits one to nine. Same is true for the other blue diagonal. A black dot joins digits with a two to one ratio. So this could be the numbers one and two, or two and one, or four, eight, or three, six, or other possibilities. Not all dots are shown. Now, when I got the puzzle, it had a white dot rule, but no white dots. And since it wasn't a negative constraint rule, I've deleted that. Uh, do give it a try if you fancy it on the first link under the video. And uh, I'm going to start now. Let's see how we get on. Let's get cracking. So we can start. There's this group of four cells joined by black dots up here and the equivalent group down there. Now, four cells, in they must sort of form a sequence of, I don't know which way around, but it could be a number there double it to get that number, double it to get that number, double that to get that number, and you'll soon work out that these must be the digits 1, 2, 4, 8. But I don't know which way round they run, but I do know that 1, 8 must be on the ends and 2, 4 in the middle bits. Ah, and I suppose since that's the case down there as well, and since we've got this diagonal, in one case the 1's on the outside of the grid, and in the other case the 8's on the outside of the grid, so that these numbers can be different. And that actually forms a one, two, four, eight quadruple on the diagonal. So R. So no other digits on the diagonal can be one, two, four, or eight. And in fact, look at these. What Sudoku digits can be on black dots that aren't one, two, four, or eight? There are only two, so this must be a pair of three, six pairs. And then we've got a 259 circle here. Since that can't be 25 or 9, those digits must appear in those cells. That can't be 2 because we've got the 2 4 pair. Um, oh, 5, 7, and 9 are the only other possible digits. So one of those is a 7. Down here we've got exactly the same. Let's use symmetry 4, 5, 9 around there. That one can't be 4. And down here, 5, 7, and 9. And one of them is seven. Now, along the diagonal, we've got the same sort of deal. We've used, we don't know exactly which number is which, but we will definitely have used one, two, three, four, six, and eight in those six cells. So these three have to be five, seven, and nine. Now, I haven't tried boxes one and nine at all. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, okay, this is good. There's a three in one of these cells at least, but is it on the black dot? And I'm going to say no. This can't be a th have a 3 on it, because then it would be a 3-6 pair. And what would you do in this cell? Because of the column having already a 3 and a 6 in it there, you couldn't put anything there. So the 3 must be in one of those two cells. 
these two these two cells are filled with some of the other black dot digits one two four or eight but four and eight in this box are around this circle so they're not here so that's not four or eight this now can't be eight uh, there must be a two in one of these yeah I, oh look though there's got to be a four in one of these two cells and a two in one of those. Oh, that's beautiful. So the four pair there is looking at that cell. The two pair there is looking at the same cell. And that becomes a one and our first digit in the grid. That's really elegant. So we get a two there because of the one. Now, can we do the same here? Six can't be on there because you couldn't form this cell if there, had, if there was a six, three pair. Oh, there's also a six pair looking at that cell. So actually we know six goes there. Yes, the same is true down here. There's a three, six pair looking at that cell. So it can't be the three. The three around the dot is there. Um, now, these come from one, two, four and eight because they can't be a three, six pair because of that. But this one is seen by a two in one of those cells and a four in one of those so it can't be two or four this must be one or eight this must be two or four because of that but two is in one of those four cells so that is a four and we get eight there that's really elegant now two three are already on this diagonal so we get a one five pair in the other in these cells, one, five, four, six, three, two. This must be an eight, nine pair. And we need a seven on the diagonal, which has to be in the central cell. So we are away now. Um, look, eight there and seven there, but we have to place an eight and seven in box one. And we now know they can't be in those cells. So we've got to put them in here. Uh, that must be a 6-9 pair, and that fixes that this is a 3. That's on the diagonal, so we can go up and do the other 6-3 pair. Have we not resolved these now? No, I don't think we have. Right, but 7 is in one of those, so it can't be here. So 7 goes in one of those two. It doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, there's a 9 in one of those. That's better. So we get a 9 here. So we're now down to a 5-7 pair. That must be a 9. That makes this a 5-4 pair on the quadruple. That sees this cell, 9 and 5. And the only, um, the only diagonal digits we have left to do are in the 4... We could almost call them the Fistemafel boxes, but uh, I'm not using that theory. Now, one eight pair there is looking at that cell, so that's nine. It's also looking at these two. So they're either a two four pair or a three six pair. Same's true up here. We've got a one eight pair. So that's from two, four, or three, six. The one eight pair is also looking there, so that's a five. The two, four pair is looking there, so that's a three. Um, ah, and that two, say, fixes this as four, and that quadruples resolve. Now we've got one and four on the diagonal, so these must be two and eight. So that gives us the four and one up there, the four, allows us to fix six and four and all those corner boxes are done just like that um oh we've not only got a seven and a, we've got a one looking at those two so we've got a one seven pair we actually know the order no it's not like that i've mistyped seven goes there this is a three five pair now in the box so five's not there four and eight go in here i think this is all coming together rather nicely four five eight triple there these can't have a four in, so they're a three, six pair. And that resolves our pairs with fives in, in rows eight and nine. We get a two here. One, seven, nine is a triple at the bottom. That's a one, two pair for the column. We know which one is a one. Let's just take out the pencil mark. That's a naked single eight. And we can fill in seven and six there. Six. We've got a two five pair in the column. 
So that's not a two, this is a three. In fact, we know those from their boxes. This is a one, two, nine triple. That is not, well, that doesn't have a two on it. That's an easier thing to do. And that fixes the pairs in rows one and two that we've marked. Get a four to finish the row there. Doesn't actually help resolve that triple. Let's have a look down this column. Yes, four and five are done. Seven and eight are done up there, in fact. So it's just me not noticing things very quickly. Six and three, get a one to finish the row. That one and seven looks down at this cell and makes it a nine. There's a three, six pair in the column. So two goes there, five goes there, and we get the four that finishes this triple off. Um, oh, that three is actually helpfully disambiguating the six three pairs, but it wasn't telling me it was doing that. So uh, I had to work it out for myself, you naughty three. Two and four there. We've got an eight, seven to go in at the top, and we really are now just finishing off. So this hasn't been too bad at all. Really approachable puzzle. Just the sort of thing people are asking for at the moment. So very happy to supply it. And that's really nice. I think it was just Symmetrio. I'm guessing that is just the translation of Symmetry. I didn't see a, a sort of trio of symmetries there. Very clever puzzle. Um, very approachable. Really nice to do. You, you need a bit of familiarity with your black dot numbers to, to get it done fast. But that was fun. So thank you very much, as always, for following us on the channel. It's a pleasure to have your company. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for some more Sudoku. Um, bye for now.